Hello friends, recently I had posted a video regarding the lateral position for femur nailing which can be used for subtrock fractures and diaphyseal fractures of the femur. When the fracture table is not available, the lateral position is a good alternative. But some people are still not familiar or comfortable with the lateral position. So they were asking if there is any other alternative available or not. Yes, definitely there is an alternative. The femur nailing for subtrock fractures and diaphyseal fractures of femur can be done in a supine position also without the use of fracture table. So in today's video, I will be showing you the tips and tricks by which you can perform the femur nailing in subtrock and diaphyseal fractures without any discomfort. It will be a simple technique and you will be able to perform that in a limited resource environment. So first of all, the positioning is critical. So like the normal position you do, you have to keep the patient supine. But the critical part is that you have to place a side support here at the level of contralateral iliac crest because you have to push the patient towards your side. So if the side which is going to be operated is the right side, you have to place a support, a side support on the left side iliac crest. That side support purpose is to push the pelvis towards the affected side. So you see, we are pushing the pelvis towards the affected side. So this is something similar to the fracture table. In fracture table, we place a bolster in the groin area and by that we are able to curve the patient in a banana kind of position. So again, you have to do the same thing, but the support here, or you can say the bolster relies on the contralateral iliac crest. So this is critical. You have to ensure that this part, the trochanteric area on the affected side is perfectly clear of the table edge. Like you see here, so if I draw it, the trochanteric area is somewhere here and this area the area where you are going to make your entry point is completely free and no part of the table is coming in the way so I'm able to appreciate the dip just proximal to the truck enter so this part is critical because this is the area from where you are going to place your guide wire you make an entry point you ream place the nail the nail zig everything so you have to ensure that this part is clear and you are not hindering this part the table edge should be medial to this part let's see this image and once you have ensured that then you have to place a thick bolster underneath the sacrum so here we have placed a bolster which is lying here and it is lying underneath the sacrum and by that you should be able to lift the affected side by around 20 to 30 degree angle so by that you'll be comfortable in the imaging also so when you place a c arm in lateral position the affected side hip will not be blocked by the contralateral hip so you have to ensure that the affected side is up you have placed a bolster underneath the sacrum and the trochanteric area and the area just proximal to it is completely free of the table edge. Once you are done with that, you start the draping process. In draping process, again, you have to ensure that your drapes are completely away from the area where you want to make the entry point. So by just convention, we place the topmost drape at the level where the rib cage ends. So this flank area is completely free. So this is the part which is critical and in the previous image I told you, you have to ensure that this bolster is perfectly fitting. It has to push the patient towards the affected side. If this is loose or not well fitted, then definitely the patient will get pushed inside and that will make the nailing difficult. So you have to pay your attention towards this bolster and the curvature like this and the apex of the curvature should be at the trochanteric or iliac crest area. Now once the draping has been done, you see how easily you are able to make a posterior entry point. The trochanter is here and you are able to make a posterior entry point. Here the fracture was a diaphyseal fracture. So we made an entry and directly placed the guide wire over the GT tip. The guide wire placement is not a problem at all. Once you have placed the guide wire, the issue starts with the lateral view. So if you try to take a conventional lateral view, there will be superimposition of the head and neck but if you try a simple trick then you can get a view like this it is a good view which you normally get on a fracture table so how to get this view simple so you see this emitter part of the c arm is more cephalid compared to the receiving area of the c arm so if you see the previous image so if the patient is positioned like this this part the receiving area of the c arm is lying at a lower level compared to the emitter area of the c arm 
by that you will be able to see a view lag. So this is the kind of trajectory we get for the radiographs in the fracture table. So similar kind of trajectory can be obtained for the proximal femur in supine position as well. So that should not be a problem at all. You get views like this when placing the guide wire inside the canal. Now you see the reaming is also not an issue. Once you have placed the guide wire, you have replaced that with a flexible long guide wire. The reaming has been initiated. That is not a problem. So your assistant can simply give slight traction to reduce or and to keep the limb in alignment. Then you can go with the reaming process. Reduction is not an issue. If you give a traction, the vertical alignment is satisfactory. You can simply push or pull the distal fragment according to the requirement that should align the fragments in line. But the problem in the lateral view, usually the proximal fragment is flexed like here you see the proximal part is flexed. So what you can do, so you can simply push this proximal fragment downwards. That is not difficult as in case of fracture table because what fracture table does when we give traction, this fragment because of the muscle tension goes more proximally. But here since everything is relaxed, this fragment does not go more proximally or anteriorly. You just keep any burn instrument over the anterior part of the proximal thigh, push this proximal fragment downwards and then it should get aligned. Or alternatively, you can place a bolster underneath the distal fragment that should align the distal fragment in line with the proximal fragment. You see what happens when we do these things. You see by just anterior push we are able to align the fragments in the lateral view. And if we do the alternative thing we placed a bolster here. You see this is a shadow of bolster. By putting the bolster also we were able to lift the distal fragment and then we'll be able to pass the guide wire like like here it has been passed now the reaming has been done in conventional manner that is normally what we do and now placement of the nail and you see placement of zig is not an issue because the area here is completely free we have nothing hindering in this zone because the patient is already taken slightly outside the edge of the table and once that is done we are able to insert the nail properly now here if you are treating the subtrock fracture you want to place a cephalo medullary screw that means the screws in this trajectory then you need a good letter view like i've shown you in the previous image but how to ensure that the guide wire is going in correct direction or not what do you need to do you simply place the sleeve for cephalo medullary screw into the desired hole and once that is done you'll be able to get a view like this and go slightly more proximal you will be able to appreciate the contour of the femoral head like here you see the contour of femoral head is quite visible clearly and by tilting the c arm in rotatory motions you'll be able to get a view in which you'll be able to see proper part of the femoral head and once that view is available you simply draw the line along the sleeve towards the head so here the screw will be going slightly posterior so what do you do you slightly rotate the zig downwards like this and then see the direction and this part is anterior and by rotating the zig you'll be able to keep the direction of sleeve in slightly anterior direction like here so you can titrate the position of the cephalo medullary screw by just rotating the zig and checking the direction of this sleeve which is meant for placement of the cephalo medullary screws so that should not be an issue and like the views I told you in the previous image, you can get a perfect lateral view of the proximal segment. Here the structure was in the mid diaphysial area so the requirement for cephalo medullary screw was not there. But in case if it was required then we can simply use the trick I told you. Here once the proximal locking has been done, you can simply do the distal locking also without the need for abducting the limb, without the need for C arm in perfect position with the fracture table. So that is something that can be avoided when you are operating without the fracture table. You simply keep the C-arm lateral throughout and slightly oblique when you are going for proximal fragment and here the dislocking has been done without any obstruction. So this was a short video regarding how to go for femur nailing in supine position when the fracture table is not available and you are not comfortable with the lateral position. The most critical part I told you is the placement of the opposite side side support and the bolster underneath the sacrum. By putting the bolster, you should be able to keep the iliac crest completely clear of the table edge. Like iliac crest here is lying outside the edge of the table. And by that, the trochanter will automatically be outside the edge. Second thing, the placement of the bolster. So bolster here should be a thick one and you should be able to lift the affected side by 20 to 30 degree. By that, the contralateral hip will not hinder the fluoroscopic views. So I hope this short video will be helpful for you in your surgical planning and management of these fractures in case you are facing challenges with the lateral position.
थैंक यू